Now that you've farmed a lot of assault formation and managed to raise your team decently, it is time to move on to the next farming spot. The next spot is arguably the best spot in farming XP, all kinds of currencies, especially mastery points. Each run provides a whopping 1k plus mastery points so maxing out your character masteries will be a breeze. However, if you are new to the game and you are watching this, I suggest watching my beginner's guide and the first farming spot guide in the game so you can access this best spot in no time. Since I'm pretty much laid an optimal progression on the set guides. Slimepeed is indeed the best farming spot in the game and it can be accessed when players reach the Maniac difficulty. It is also a survival type of quest like the previous farming spot but much easier. Luckily, players can actually farm this stage straightforwardly with any kind of setup but I will be sharing my setup and also how I do my runs so you will have an idea how to optimize yours. Starting with my main DPS, I am using Narmaya with a quick charge and damage cap traits to ensure that all of my charges will take less time and damage cap to increase my total DPS. Next on the line is Lancelot, he's just been there since I built him recently. You can change him to another DPS if you wish. For Narmaya users, you can follow my setup if you still don't have one. And moving on to her skill, I am usually running with Kyoka Suigetsu. Satsuna, Apex of Nothingness, and Dance of Pink Petals, mainly for supplementary damage. You can change Setsuna to Transient for faster transitions to charge attacks. I might replace Lancelot with Zeta later on and follow up with Percival for his party-wide attack and defense buff and lastly would be Cagliostro so I can take advantage of her party-wide buff as well which is her Phantasmagoria skill which provides additional attack, defense, and critical hit chance. Now that is out of the way, moving on to my actual farming method or routines. The slime peed quest is pretty straightforward and you just need to kill as many slimes as you can within the given time. Your goal is to kill at least 100 to get the highest rank but it's not necessarily especially when you are new to this spot. Just get rid as many slimes as possible and then repeat. What I usually do is buff myself with dance on pink petals at the start of battle and quickly unleash Kyoka Suigetsu to start the loop that I am doing. The loop that I am trying to do is taking advantage of her enhanced charge attacks as much as I can without transitioning to her free flutter stance combos. So after every charge, I evade to reset the animation and start doing don't fly stance combo over and over taking advantage of the wide arc range. I use Setsuna on the bigger slimes with, without charging it for faster kills and Apex of Nothingness to counter possible attacks. Your other party members will be occupied buffing you so keep an eye out for that. That is pretty much it for my end. You can easily see that depending on your setup, you can optimize every run differently so explore accordingly. This is not the best routine whatsoever. I am sharing the one that I am doing. But before the next step, if you are into straight to the point guides, tips and tricks like this one, subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button and it will surely help me a lot. Consider joining the empire today and your support is greatly appreciated. Now on to the next step. Moving on to the rewards and let's have a quick breakdown. In my current state, I usually get around 1600 to 1800 MSP per run since I am scoring multiple overkills. It provides 100 MSP per overkill so a huge chunk of mastery points comes from there. So to do the math, let's say I am getting 1600 MSP per run, I am getting 32k MSP per hour and that's a lot but your mile age may vary depending on your gear and party composition. You will be getting countless amounts of rupees since aside from the manual drops you are also getting glittering crystals in the process. But it's not a big deal at this point if you farm assault formation before. XP accumulation is over the roof as well at this point and you can just take advantage of it and get more MSP since your main are already at max level. But if you want to level your other characters, you will be getting a lot of spell books from this spot so it will be much easier to max characters now. As mentioned, you will be getting a lot of other materials such as glittering stones, merits and fortitude crystals. What I want to focus on are palatina glass and bloom sword hilts. Since you do have a lot of surplus of these items, you can easily exchange these for knickknack vouchers for your transmutation needs. Although I find assault formation provides faster vouchers on the other hand, curio drops here as well so let's hope we get war elemental sigils in the process. 
A very quick guide, I just want to share my process and there are tons of ways to optimize your runs, be creative, and have fun. Now you can fully max your character's masteries in no time. Now if you are new to the game, this beginner guide will help you a ton when starting the game. Also, if you can access Slime Peed at the moment and you are still working your way up on Maniac difficulty, watch my Assault Formation guide here and I will see you on the next one.